Are you in it for the long haul? Sharon Horton Elstrom here, and our idiom, our proverb, our expression today, if with respect to business, is are you in it for the long haul? For the long haul is the expression. It actually comes from 1873 in the railroad industry when rates were determined for uh, based on how far a cargo was being driven, or I guess, is it driven in the railroad? Anyway, railed, transported to, uh, from one place to another. The longer the distance, the shorter the, or the smaller the cost per mile. Now, when we say long haul, there's definitions by different, in, different industries as to what is long haul versus short haul. There's long haul over the road truckers, right? Any trucker that has to stay overnight, they drive far enough that they can't get home at night, that's called long haul trucking. So if it's over a, you know, a day and a night's length, then it's considered long haul trucking. In flights, any flight over seven hours is considered a long haul flight. So what does long haul mean? It, it's kind of measuring our level of commitment toward what it is that we're doing. Are you in your business for the long term or for the short term? In business, when I was in corporate America, we defined business and long term and short term planning, for example, or long term and short term goal setting as anything longer than a year was considered long term plan. Anything shorter than a year was considered short term planning or short term budget or an emergency budget was for the next, you know, 30 days or something. So long haul for the long haul means, you know, for a relatively great period of time. Great period of time, like everything else, is of course relative. Long is relative. We get to define it for ourselves. But different industries have different standards of how they define long haul or long term. Now, I like to think that I'm in a lot of things for the long haul, but not everything. I've been in businesses for short term. I've been in businesses for long term. I've been in industries for the short term, for the quick results, the quick education, the quick uh, understanding that industry for the quick buck I'll, I'll admit it some some industries I was in I was in because I wanted to make a lot of money fast so that I could do other things that I was interested in and wanted to do as well so we decide what level of commitment I guess for me long haul long term is what level of commitment am I making toward my business toward the thing that it is that I'm doing and the good thing about that is once we decide that determine hey I am just in this business to get attention. I am just, or notoriety, or to become an influencer. I'm just in this business to make a lot of cash flow so that I can use it for the nonprofit that I want to do, whatever. But when we know that we're in something for the long term or the short term, it makes decision making a lot more clear cut and easier for us to decide. When we're in a business for the long term, I was in the Italian food manufacturing business for 37 years. That's a long-term commitment. So the decisions and the choices and the things that I did for that business were different than if I was just in and out of it to, you know, sell some pizzas and move on to the next thing. You know, sell some pizzas as a fundraiser and then move on to the next business. I, I made totally different decisions based on the longevity in that particular business and industry. Other industries, I was only in three to five years. Some I just dabbled in, tipped my toe in, and I said, yeah, this is totally not for me, I'm out of here. And those, I wasn't, I hadn't made the long-term commitment. I was testing and tweaking and trying to find out, was this the right business or industry for me? And if it wasn't, I didn't have a problem cutting bait and, you know, shoring up my losses and then moving on to the next thing. So long haul can apply to communication networks. How do we communicate? We can have long distance romances or relationships. I had a long distance relationship for a couple of years. Uh, but we, we have to decide what it is that we want. Whenever we're doing anything in our business and in our life, it's up to us to determine what is, what is it we want out of this thing? What do we really want? And once we know that, we can just work backwards to everything else. And we can decide if we're going to be in something for the long term or for the short term uh, benefit of us and the people we love and care about. Love to know your per perspective and your current experience with this particular expression or idiom. If you've been doing something for a long time and committed to it, if you've been in an industry or career your whole career, you're obviously a long range, long term thinker. If you just pop in and out, you know, I think of... Uh, jack of all trades are people or, that pop in and out of a lot of different things and do a ton of different things in their life, but maybe they're not committed long term to being anything except a jack of all trades. Maybe they want to know and have as many different experiences in their life as they possibly can. So love to know your experience with this particular expression or idiom. Have you heard it before? Have you used it? I guess if you've ever done any planning, even if you're planning a vacation, 
Uh, you have to decide if you're going to go the long way or the short way. You get to pick that on your phone now for ma on Maps or MapQuest or whatever they call it these days. Obviously, you can tell I've been driven for a couple of years. So that's it. That's our expression for today. Go out and make it an awesome day. See if you can't look at your business through the lens of the long haul today and if that doesn't benefit you in some way. I'll, of course, be at the tomorrow with another interesting idiom. We're doing business-related ones for about two months here, and then we'll decide what to do next. Uh, and so some of these, these are shorter little quippy uh, proverbs, and they don't have as much history. I'm finding them very shallow with respect to entomology, where they came from and, and what they've meant over the decades. Most of these, you know, this one's from 1873. This is the oldest one, I think, of the ones we've done since we started doing the business-related uh, phrases and proverbs and, and idioms. It's an idiom. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.